Hey, let's play a little game. My friend Donnell from Donnell Stitchery invited me to play an old school tag video and I want you to play along too. Everyone answers the questions and adds one of their own. I'll drop all the participants that I know of in the box below so you can check out their answers and all the new questions and their videos. Ready? Here we go. Guys, come on, this is easy. You all know the answer. It's red. Red, red, everything red. Red is the best color. Red is the best color. Number two. My favorite fabric designer is Anna Maria Horner. Anna Maria Perry. She's been a favorite for a very, very long time. You heard me wax poetic about her style and her burst of color. She was the first person whose fabric I saw that really changed, changed the quilting landscape for me. You know, I mean, I, I love myself a good calico, but her work way back to Chocolate Lollipop, her first collection, which nobody can find. It's just a favorite. It's always a favorite. Number three. Does coffee count as a snack? I don't know. I think if you're doing it right, coffee can count as a snack. But I, I probably don't do it right. I drink my coffee black, so. But as far as snacks when I'm sewing, I'm, I just, I sew. I sew fast and I, coffee and ice water. I, it's not that interesting. <laughs> Though, we did used to have a rule in our knitting group that you could bring all the snacks and candy that you wanted to share but it couldn't have wrappers. Cause nobody needs to see that count. Nobody needs to know how many of those little miniature three musketeers or Snickers that you've eaten. So nothing with a wrapper. Number four. My favorite go-to block, it's gotta be a half square triangle. A half square triangle, I mean, I know that's like a basic building unit of bigger blocks, but really, it's like the basic, it's, it's like the crux of it all. Half square triangles are the, the I Ching of the quilting world. I mean, they, they turn, they're the basis for everything. They can be flying geese, they can make all different kinds of patterns. I know people have done, made books where they have like just hundreds of half square triangle layouts. So it's gotta be a half square triangle. Plus it's just satisfying to make them. My preferred fabric cut gotta be a fat quarter. Fat quarters, I mean, they're big enough to do something with, but they are not so big that you can do everything. You have to use multiple colors, multiple variants, mix it up. My dog is going crazy out here, I don't know why. But she's, she's, she's gonna be a disruption. But I love a fat quarter. It's large enough to work with and to get a lot of use out of but it's small enough to keep the creativity and the creative boundary tight and make me really work for it. Eleanor Burns. Hands down, Eleanor Burns. She's my hero. She taught me to quilt on PBS. She is just a joy and everyone that I've spoken with that knows her, has met her, has taken a class with her, says the exact same thing, that she's an absolute delight and a dream and inspirational. Yeah, Eleanor Burns. What time of day do I prefer to sew? I'll sew anytime. If I'm just sewing, 
I can sew anytime. If I have to measure or cut or like think about something, we're gonna do that in the morning when I'm awake. <laughs> we are not gonna do that at nine o'clock at night because nope, that's a bad idea. Most often these days, I'm doing a lot of work in the morning and administrative and prep work and filming in the morning and then I sew in the afternoons. Where do I store my fabric? It's everywhere guys and I will link my sewing room tour up here but there are alpha carts behind here. There's fabric in the closets here, pre-cuts and strips and strings. There's scraps. There, there's a whole bunch of garbage here under my desk right now. There's a bin in the middle of my phone. <laughs> it's a wreck in here right now. If you are a patron that I posted a video over there of some behind the scenes and how much of a creative mess it is right now. But th no, there's literally fabric everywhere. There are bins of strings back here that are strategically blocked. <laughs> so all this, <laughs> where it looks neat, except my production sewing back here, it's an illusion. But there's literally fabric everywhere. I mean, it's very organized and it's all sorted by color, but there, it's, there's a lot of it and it's everywhere. I have been sewing and quilting since I was about 16 or 17 years old, which is gonna be 1989-ish. It's a long time, a long time. Off and on, on seriously for about the past 15 years. And my add-on question, what popular quilt pattern have I never made? It's a log cabin quilt. Never made a log cabin quilt. I've made a few log cabin blocks, but I've never made a log cabin quilt. I should probably do that. So there it is. I was tagged and I answered the challenge. And I know many folks have been tagged already. So I'm inviting everyone to join in the game. Make your own video or Leave your answers in the comments below. I hope this was fun and I hope you never forget that you make the world more beautiful just by being in it. I'm Amy and I'll see you next time.